Welcome back to my channel, I'm Brushes and Bunnies, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you advice on how to start learning how to draw. Now this advice could be for any sort of beginner, but it could also be for the artist that used to draw a lot and took a couple years break. That is precisely what I did over the last couple years. I used to draw a lot, I used to be very active on this channel and on social media, and I took a couple years break to basically uh, deal with some private stuff at home. And now that I want to get back into it all, I started sketching and doodling and doing what I used to do and I realized very quickly that I was out of practice. So if you find yourself in the situation and you're wondering where to get started and how to get started, my advice to you is to keep it simple and go back to the basics. That might mean something different for everyone. For me, that means just whipping out my sketchbook and my favorite pencils and just letting it loose. Just going ham with my pencils, sketching what I know best and what I enjoy sketching. I don't want to necessarily overcomplicate things either. I just want to stick to the basics. Something that has helped me in the past learn how to draw was to do this sort of portrait challenge that was drawing a hundred faces in a sketchbook. And by doing that, I had learned how to draw very, very quickly. And I was able to apply whatever I learned in there into anything else that I was doing. So lately I've been doing precisely that. I've been taking out my favorite sketchbook, my favorite pencils, starting to just draw random portraits and really focusing on the line work and the shading. I think it's quite important to also remember that whether you're starting out with something new or you're trying to get back to something that you once loved, it's going to take time and you need patience for that. I think it's perfectly natural to feel frustrated, especially when you're starting something new. You're frustrated at the fact that you're trying to draw something that you're picturing in your head or you're, you're drawing from reference and whatever is coming out on paper isn't exactly that or isn't an exact copy of what you're trying to draw. And this can be discouraging and it can be frustrating. My advice to you in this situation, if you feel yourself getting kind of lost in those emotions, I would say you persist with it. There is always something called an ugly phase in a drawing or in a painting or whatever you're trying to do. And this ugly phase is the point in time where it's kind of like you're halfway done the drawing and you're you're seeing things, you're seeing things kind of I don't know how to explain it like everything you're doing feels like it's ugly and you're kind of in between these phases of the start of the drawing and the end of the drawing um maybe the detail isn't sketched in yet and you're assessing this drawing that you're doing and you're like oh this isn't going the right direction and then you get frustrated and you give up and then you have a half finished piece in your sketchbook something that i always told um my followers on this channel when I was live streaming is to be conscious of this ugly phase and to not be frustrated by it and to always finish what you started. Because regardless of the fact that maybe the piece that you're drawing isn't the best and you're unhappy with it, at least you could say you finished it and you probably learned something from it. And whatever you've learned, you can take away and you could use for the next time you draw something. Another bit of advice would be to draw what you know and draw what you like. This is especially important if you're starting to learn how to draw for the very first time. It definitely helps that you're drawing a subject that is something that you're potentially passionate about. Um, it makes you just want to excel at it and to grow in that direction. So whether that's portrait work with humans or maybe pets, I'd say find something that you really, really love and go for it and use that as a subject matter to practice with. Now this bit of advice could also be used for other sorts of mediums, whether you want to master acrylic, oil, watercolor, gouache, so on and so forth. It's always better if you paint something that you're really, really passionate about. An example in my current day life is that I want to master acrylic gouache. But I also want to learn how to draw landscapes and really cute scenes. So something I've been doing is basically practicing both of those things in my sketchbook, in my watercolor sketchbook, and I've been having so much fun. Painting something you know and painting something you love makes it easier and kind of keeps the frustrations muted a little bit. 
you know you're like oh i really like what i'm doing and it's fun to look at these images and it's fun to paint something that i've always been passionate about i may not be good at it with this type of medium but at least i'm liking the subject matter and by taking that sort of approach i've been able to really accelerate in my acrylic gouache skills And my last bit of advice goes to those who used to draw a lot and or paint a lot and would like to get back into the entire game, but they feel like too much time has passed and they're a little bit nervous to try again, or they think that maybe whatever skill they developed is long gone because they're out of practice and haven't done it for years. I have to say that I actually thought this might have been the case for me as well and that led to feelings of disappointment and feelings of regret because I feel like I wasted a couple years of not developing myself and I also thought that you know if I were to try to get back into it what if I wasn't as good as I used to be and all of those thoughts were extremely discouraging and I just didn't really necessarily want to try again and I have to say that so far I can't really say that this has been the case. I feel like, yeah, sure, the first couple drawings that I did were a little bit rocky and I was just like, not necessarily feeling it, but at the same time, the skill kind of quickly picked up. I was able to get the hang of it pretty quickly and I feel like in a short amount of time, I was able to get to the point that I, ha I was at um, a couple years ago when I stopped drawing. So if you're worried that you've lost your skill and or talent, I think that is probably not the case. I don't know. I think there's a lot of debate about this online, at least from what I've read. My personal experience is that you just don't think about it and you just go, you just go for it. You, you don't think about the what ifs and like, what if I'm not good enough? Or like, what if I can't do this the way that I used to? I just, just throw that out the window. Just go for it. Don't worry. Don't give in to your insecurities. And sooner or later, I think your skill will pick up and you'll basically get back to the point that you were, if not better. And to be honest with you, I think that some time apart from your passion is actually quite good. Um, sometimes your skill develops in a different way and you come back to something and you're like, oh, I'm tackling this part of the drawing or I'm tackling the subject in a different way than I usually would and it's giving me all these new ideals and I wanna try new things. So actually time away could be a positive thing. But at the end of the day, I think it's how you see it personally and your sort of attitude towards it. That being said, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you can take away some advice that I spoke about and apply it to your own artwork or ways of working when it comes to creating art. As for myself, I'm still finding my footing back into YouTube. It's a little bit rough. It's a little bit rocky. I feel like there a lot of new things came to YouTube and or other social media platforms. So I'm just trying to catch up on everything, but I do plan on posting a lot more in the near future. So thanks again for watching and I wish you all a great start to your week.